Dear spoilers, I don't like you. So spoiler season has begun because I personally feel like fall is the season for spoilers to arrive. I love fall. It's my favorite season because it just feels so good outside. But spoilers? No, we ain't friends. Getting spoiled for your most anticipated book or movie or TV show is the worst. It's such an awful feeling knowing that you got spoiled for something and then you have to read the book or watch it and it's like, but I already knew that. It sucks. And since we are now in spoiler season, I am hardcore avoiding two sets of spoilers for two books. One of the books is already out, but the other one's not. The first spoilers I'm avoiding is for Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Maas. I'm not gonna lie here, there have been a few times before I got this book that I was tempted to look at spoilers because honestly, Sarah J. Maas spoilers are kind of like crack. Like once you start reading them, it's really hard to stop. And that's what happened with me in Aquawar. I was not that excited for this. I was more nervous than excited. And now that it's here, I'm, I feel even more nervous because like it's here in my hands physically. Like I can hold this and read it. It's so weird. But at the same time, I don't want to get spoiled for this book because there's just something inside me that's just like, don't get spoiled for Tower of Dawn. And I was doing really good. I had not get, gotten spoiled like the first few days after this book came out, but then the spoilers started coming on Tumblr. I love Tumblr. It's probably my favorite app because I go on there all the time and like I feel comfortable being myself on there because it's just so amazing and everyone's so wonderful. But man, I would be lying if I said Tumblr wasn't spoiler central. I've actually seen two spoilers for this book, but I actually don't believe them because I will only believe them if they happen in this book. But they're both the same thing. So I don't know why that is enough confirmation that it's true. Unless they happen in this book, then I'll believe them. But then there were a lot of spoilers from this one account I follow on Instagram. But what I appreciate from this person so much is that they would first post a picture saying Tower of Dawn spoilers and then you could swipe and there was a spoiler. And I was like, look at this person, look at this person doing such a nice thing, giving out a warning, having a first picture saying, hey, spoilers are coming and then you can swipe the spoiler like you go i was so happy when i saw that person doing that because like that's what people need to do when it comes to spoilers i didn't read any of the spoilers on instagram because there was a warning and i was like oh spoilers got, gotta stay away but then on tumblr i would just be casually scrolling and I'd see something about tower dawn and i would be like oh i but in the, but my my eyes would already read like something from it and i would just oh, it was terrible more people need to give a warning saying no on their spoiler post or just not reblog the spoilers and talk about them privately in a conversation but like whatever moving on the other spoilers i am avoiding have to deal with these books right here magnus chase ship of the dead spoilers have arrived and honestly i was not prepared for it i wasn't expecting ship of the dead spoilers to come out until maybe like the week before the book was released but they're here now because the first three chapters of The Ship of the Dead were released and you would think I would read those chapters because I'm super excited for The Ship of the Dead. It's my most anticipated fall release. So like, yeah, you would think I would read them, but no, because I do not want to get spoiled for this book. And I am dead serious about avoiding these spoilers too. And I swear if I get spoiled, for this book, I am going to fight somebody because I do not want to get spoiled for the ship of the dead. The main spoilers I'm trying to avoid is spoilers dealing with Percy and Annabeth because I do not want to know any of the things that are going on with them in Ship of the Dead. Like, no, do not tell me what happens with Percy and Annabeth in the ship of the dead if you know. Because, like, I don't want to know, okay? I do not want to know. I want to be surprised because it has been three freaking years since we've got a moment between them since the butt of Olympus and I am so excited to be reunited with them and I want to be surprised by all their lovely moments together. Percy and Annabeth just mean too much to me and to get spoiled and read those chapters and find out like I would hate myself if I did that so that's why I'm not doing it because I want to be surprised. I want to be like <gasps> Look at them! Like, I want to have that feeling. I don't want to have that feeling right now. I want to have that feeling on October 3rd! I actually had to block one person on Tumblr because they 
were reblogging stuff about the Percy and Annabeth moments from the book and they were even like posting screenshots from the chapters and I would have to scroll just like really fast or block people because I am dead serious about this guys. I am blocking people because I don't want to get spoiled for this book. I will do everything I can to not get spoiled for Ship of the Dead as well as Tower of Dawn but Tower of Dawn is not as important. Ship of the Dead is definitely more important to me because like I do not want to get spoiled for the book. Spoilers suck. That is a fact. But we're just gonna have to deal with them. Like, I have to deal with them. You just have to either scroll really fast or block people or delete apps. Just do whatever you have to do to avoid spoilers for stuff that you were excited for, like me. Like, I'm excited for The Ship of the Dead, okay? And I, it, it means too much to me. I, I don't want to get spoiled. But those are my feelings on spoilers and how to avoid them and what I'm doing to avoid Magnus Chase spoilers as well as Tower Dawn spoilers. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I just felt like talking about spoilers because that's just something I've been seeing a lot of lately. So thank you all so much for watching this video and I'm Courtney. I'll see y'all next time with a new video up soon. So I will see you then. So bye! Yo!